All right, we should be live. And hopefully people start trickling in. I um I started using the Twitch like stream schedule thing where you just you can you can do a schedule of or like set up a schedule of when you're streaming. Um I don't know if that helps. I <clears throat> see I don't actually watch Twitch streams very much of like other people. Um so I don't know how people usually get like know that someone is going live. Um right. I don't know if it's you never look at Yeah, I <clears throat> can you like sign up to follow a schedule or something like that? I don't know how it works. I honestly don't know how any of this works. Um I am just winging it. So, uh also, um, can people hear me okay? Because I know the last couple streams, uh, we've had to do some funny stuff to get me to be audible. Yeah, it seems like... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'm going to adjust the levels a little bit. Yeah, according to the desktop, desktop audio, you are audible. Okay. I'm actually going to turn you down a little bit. Um, all right. Should be good to go. <laughs> With the Witch app. Oh, the Twitch app. I see. I was like, is there a, a Witch app I don't know about? Something that helps you with your witching? All right. Um, Moog. I, Moog, yes. I have been told by a few people that I have made no progress in this game. Uh, I, I have, in the two streams we've, we've done... And I was going to be very offended at first, and then I realized I have not fought a single boss yet. So <laughs> I think I think the people are correct. Uh, I so this stream we're gonna try and make actual progress. Um, with that being said, I mm -hmm. do not remember what I was doing. Let's the, look at the uh, god rays for a second. Oh, sir, are the, those screen space or? Yeah, the, the Discord uh, uh -huh. stream is running at like five FPS. Right now. <laughs> oh dear. Know why. Uh, okay, let me check the settings. Uh, maybe I need to. Here, let me adjust. I'll, I'll turn down the. Is that the. Yeah, there we go. I'll try turning down the resolution. See if that helps. <laughs> Is that any better? Uh, I can't see the game just yet. You see it now? No. Wait. No. Wait. Maybe. Uh, yes, I can. Huh? It's still running at like very. That's weird. Okay. Wait. Wait. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It's uh, very cursed. Hmm. Disable the preview on OBS. Let's save. So it looks like it's fine on Twitch. Let's just be a Discord thing. Why would it be so cursed? Yeah, still looks bad. Yeah, I may hmm. just have to watch the Twitch stream this time. Hmm. Okay. Um. The, the reason so why we don't do that is because the Twitch stream um, is delayed a bit. Yeah. So Maybe I, there's, I can't. Let me, let me quickly check my settings in, uh, in Discord. Just to see if there's anything weird. No soundboard. No, not that sort of video. Um... Hardware accelerated encoding, blah, 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 blah. noise suppression. Yeah, I don't know. It's because it's been fine um, every other time, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening. Huh. Maybe it'll clear up after a bit here. Because um, the, the Twitch stream says it's doing fine, so I don't think it's my internet, but it could be. I could try, yeah, okay, I'll try streaming the OBS window to you. 
Uh, someone suggested that. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. I could also try just streaming my desktop. Because I, I was uh, streaming the game. Here, let's try his OBS. See if that helps. Alright, does that look any better? Nope. Okay. It's <laughs> still very bad. Alright. Um, um, yeah, well, I think Discord is, uh, is Discord just not is happy today. Discord is itself. I guess for the moment, you can just watch on Twitch. Um, yeah. That's weird. It's been fine every other time. Like I, like I said. Yeah, weekly just, Majula appreciation session, for sure. I'm gonna, uh, just as a sanity check, I'm gonna restart my computer. Okay. I will see you in a little bit, then. Yeah. Ooh, look, we have LODs popping in. Yeah, look at that. Look at the LODs popping in. It's beautiful. Do you see, so that, that, uh, can I, do I have a bow? Yes. No, no. Two hand the bow. So that vase right there. Watch, watch there. Ready? Bloop! The box disappeared. Here, we'll, we'll zoom in and see a close up. Yeah! LODs popping in. Okay. Um. So, while Dylan restarts his computer, I will try and figure out um, what I was doing. We have a uh, not very many viewers this this week uh which if that is just the way things are that is perfectly fine but i'm wondering if i didn't announce somewhere that oh i guess i didn't announce on my discord i can i can bother them dark smalls the game Oh shoot, I didn't add <laughs> I need to I need to tag people. At, I just do an at here every week. Um, which is probably extremely annoying. <laughs> but I don't care. I want views! I want all the views. Okay. Back to Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2. I have been on such a Dark Souls kick recently which is good for this stream um there goes dylan i have been i've been playing well i talked about that i've been playing dark souls one again and playing it on steam deck in bed like honestly most of my um most of my gaming recently is what is this oh witching urn that's right most of my gaming recently is on steam deck lying in bed um just because I can, like, hang out with my wife, and when I get tired, I just turn off the light and go to sleep. It's, you know, kind of chill. But there's some stuff that isn't quite as good on Steam Deck as on PC. I know I've been down here, but I forget where it goes. You know what? I forgot. There's fast travel. I forgot that there's fast travel. I'm going to go back here. I am a little disappointed at the uh, the prevalence of fast travel. I also started a new. Uh, yes, it's that's the that's the weird part is, Dark Souls One is such a like, chill calming game for me, and I know it shouldn't be like it's supposed to be the really stressful rage game, right? But it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's it's very comfortable, like very comforting. Um. So, yeah, it's a good one to just, like, lounge around and play. I play the, uh... I like playing that when I'm traveling, because I, um... I get a lot of travel anxiety, so it's, like, sort of comforting to play something like Dark Souls or Half-Life or, you know, something that I'm, um... really familiar with. Ah, water. Um, yes, fast travel. I started a new Elden Ring playthrough also that I'm going to slowly keep chipping away at probably in preparation for the DLC. 
and I forgot how different some of the controls are in that game. I've, I've forgotten a lot about it. So, we have the forest, the lighthouse, the this. I think forest is really where we're gonna... where we're still trying to chip away at. So I'm gonna go to the first bonfire. And yes, absolutely, Resident Evil is one of those also. Um... Yeah, that, I've been retreating to a lot of comfort games recently, uh, not playing a lot of new stuff. Well, I've been playing Tomb Raider. Uh, I got the uh, the Tomb Raider Remastered Collection, and that's pretty fun. I really like... it's a style of platformer. I can't think of anything else that is like that now, in the sense that it's really methodical and not at all about speed. There's... What, it appears you've been in this hall by yourself, it says. Um, I have been disconnected from the call, apparently. Thank you, Clyde, the Discord bot. Yeah, Doom is also... Although, for some reason, Doom just isn't quite the same uh, to me. I think... I think that... Although I still really love and enjoy boomer shooters, they sort of are in a different category for me just because of how much time I have spent kind of rigorously studying them for, you know, uh, for, um, for like Dusk and Chop Goblins and stuff. So, which doesn't mean I don't like, like I still love them and I still have a lot of fun with them, but they're not quite the same sort of just chill and relax thing for me. Oh, oh man, I am, I am doing poorly. Very poorly. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and Dylan is ready again. Let's hope nothing kills me while I'm standing here. Hello? Alright, let's try... Let's try again. Alright, going live with... It. How's it look? Bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Ooh, a life gem. So much for that. I will... I'll just... Whoop! Nope, not disconnect. Sorry, I didn't yeah. mean to disconnect. <laughs> oh no! There's a guy! There's a guy! There's a guy! There's a guy! Hold on, I have to kill this guy. Um, so you're just gonna watch on Twitch? Yes, for now? Uh, it looks fine on Twitch. I'm okay. Ah! No! Yeah. yeah, like I, like I was saying, I still love like arcadey shooters, boomer shooters, that those sort of things. I love playing them. Um, for some reason, but yeah, they just don't. It's not quite the same category for me because I'm so. Uh, I think because because there's so much like a uh, overlap of business and pleasure, if that makes sense. Yeah, Dylan is secretly trying to get me killed. Um, so I couldn't remember exactly what I was doing, so I thought I would go back to the forest here and just sort of get my bearings again. Um, which I know is directly, uh, directly opposed to my stated goal of us making progress, but I, I don't have an excuse that... <laughs> Yeah, streaming. No, I forgot about this guy. Uh, okay, maybe. <laughs> that fall is so funny. He's just, I know, it's just, he's just so like, pathetic. Let go. Yeah. Right. What on earth is chat talking about? I needed to use a custom. Custom Delta Ton? What? <laughs> How do you even do a custom Delta Time? I guess did you? I, I guess that makes uh, I've that's something I've never even considered having to do is doing a custom Delta Time for.
Okay. So now I'm up here. Uh, I don't think any progress is to be found up here. Yeah, I think um, I think think we we've gotten all the stuff up here before. Yeah. Ooh, did I go over? That's that's just a shortcut to back here. Okay. Am I crazy, or is the FOV narrower? in Dark Souls 2, or is it just because I'm used to seeing Dark Souls on a small screen? I don't know. It's very possible that, uh, if I can jump that, the, that the FOV is different in this one. This is like a, a whole weird... I don't even know if this is like oh, an offshoot. Oh, that's... <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, I don't... I, I don't even know if this is like an offshoot of their normal engine, uh, or... If this is like a complete rewrite, but I think they went back to the other, the engine they used for Dark Souls 1 after this. Uh, they, they were making a, a version of it that would eventually become the version they used for Bloodborne. Okay. And then they made the rest of their games using that, iterations of that engine. Is Elden Ring still that? Yes. For some reason I was thinking it was um, Unreal. No. Okay. No, they, they don't. They don't use standard engines. There was some, maybe I'm I'm confusing that with something else probably. All right, let's go here. I think this is where the progress was. Was that one of those speedrun killing baby jumps? Is that a thing? Should go back to the shadow town. Oh my gosh. Honestly, oh, okay, that reminds me. Um so I had a one of those one of those brain flash bombs. Uh, or f like, like just brain destroying moments the other day, and someone wrote a review of the Pony Factory and called it a PSX horror game. Oh god! And I, I can't fathom that. I cannot fathom looking at that and be like, "Yeah, this is PSX graphics." <laughs> like, I understand I, I... it looks a little aged, but <laughs> this, I'm, I'm so old at this point. I'm like, no, yeah, no, I, no, this is like, this is, this is like, m mid to late 2000s is that, and Zoomers are like, ah, it doesn't look like Unreal 4, it's PSX graphics. Yeah, there's so many people who weren't alive during that era that they'll just be like, oh, it's got dated graphics, must be PSX. Yeah. Oh, wait, I remember what I was doing. Hello, friend. Uh, right, different, different timing. Let's try that. Let's practice this timing. For there we go. Oh, and I gotta wait. That's right. Have to wait your turn. Yeah. Yeah. People, people just really call any horror game that doesn't look doesn't have like the Unreal post processing on it. They're like, ah, it's retro. Which, I guess at this point, mid-2000s, uh, late-2000s is retro, to be fair. Um, but it's not PSX retro. Someone thought Dark Tide was unreal in my, in my mentions the other day, and I was like, nope, they're, they're still using, like... Oh, they're that using that... Curf cursed offshoot of, uh, of an engine called Stingray, like, which became, uh... Yeah, like Autodesk Stingray. Stingray. But it used what? to be called Bit, Bit Squid for Autodesk bought it. Bit Squid. Yeah. <laughs> and that's also the same engine that they're using for Helldivers as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, is Helldivers isn't them, is it? Uh no, no, they're different. Okay. They're both they're both funny enough Swedish studios though. Okay. Which same I don't know, same diff, really. I yeah, I don't know if like because they're developers from the same country, but that there's some like shared engine knowledge, and they're like, "Hey, let's all use BitSquid because we all know and have used that engine before." I suppose that could be. <gasps> oh, I remember what I was doing. I remember what I was doing now. It's it has nothing to do with any of these places. Uh, it's <laughs> it's back in Majula. Must go back to where I began. It's like that. It's like that one episode of My Little Pony. Anyway, moving on. Oh, what's the question? What do you think of Unreal for indie games? Um, You're probably not the person to ask about yeah. that, huh? 
I have no idea because I won't use Unreal if I can help it because it's owned by an evil company. And I just, I'm, I'm working my way out of an engine owned by an evil company. I'd prefer not to go to another engine owned by an evil company. My brothers are, have moved to Unreal though. They don't care. Whatever they do next is, is going to be Unreal. You basically working in, uh, you're, 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 I know you Butcher's Creek is still in Unity, yeah. but you're, you're basically moving to Godot. I'm moving to Godot. Um, at least, a, at least at first, if, I saw the other day, cause I, I do, you know, post like stuff on Twitter occasionally. So I went on Twitter to post, I don't even remember what it was. And I just saw that, um, Mr. Pink is yeah. having a having a real bad time with Godot, I guess. So I was uh, talking to Nate, and uh -huh. I think Nate maybe has. I think I don't know if he talked to Mr. Pink, um, but Nate ran into a lot of issues. I don't know if he ran into into any of these issues. There, he ran into a lot of issues where like references would be broken mm -hmm. uh, if you if you like swap names or if you sometimes just like the links to references would get broken randomly. And he said that that's kind of a bug at the moment, but a lot of Godot users are kind of like, oh, well, you know, they'll fix it eventually. So I don't know. If huh. that, yeah, Nate said that the workflow was quite frustrating because uh, the once the scenes started getting larger, the reference breaking was becoming constant. Okay, that's good to know. I did not run into that, but I... I mean, I'm, I'm just working on Butcher's Creek right now. I haven't opened Godot in months. Um, unfortunately, I would like to get back to... What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Uh, light Torch. There we go. I would like to get back to working in Godot, because I was actually quite enjoying it. Um, but I haven't done really anything at a high level of complexity yet. Yeah, I, like, downloaded it and, like, made, like, a, a test scene and just started messing with stuff. But I... I, I yeah, Bloomwood takes up all my, my development yeah. time. Yeah. Um, so as soon as Butcher's Creek is done, the only, the only other, like, uh, I'll probably have to keep a Unity license around for, is that a chest? It is not, it is just okay. a very, look. it's a very, it is a chest, but it is yeah. not an interactable chest. Something okay. That this, something that from software games kind of do now, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Um, ooh, good. Uh... I am probably going to have to keep a Unity license around for if I need if I do any like iron lung updates or if I do decide to do the uh Chop Goblins West level and Butcher's Creek updates, of course. Yeah. That one's a real chest. <laughs> Watch it. I was waiting for the, you to say that and then it's a mimic. Oh, a soul <laughs> vessel. What is a soul vessel? Is that I believe that is the item that allows you to respect. Soul Show this to a certain person. Okay. I will find someone to show it to then, I guess. Sing chest ahead. Yeah, um that it, that reference breaking thing is concerning. Um hopefully that won't be an I uh I saw that, and, but, um, so Mr. Pink is awesome, but Mr. Pink is also completely insane, which is why he's awesome, but I have no idea what that dude's code bases look like. Um, they could be great, like, they could be really clean and really, and everything, but I have no idea. I could also believe that they're, they're completely insane, same as, like, like, Cruelty Squad, Okay, I, I think I did everything down here. Or it's like... Whoops, that wasn't what I meant to do. How do I put the torch out? Do I just uh, swap just, it out? Uh, D-pad oh. Yeah, left. I just swap it out. Okay. Yeah. Who is Mr. Pink? He made, um... No, he didn't make Cruelty Squad. I was just saying, like, similar to Cruelty Squad, I could believe that code base is just absolute madness um i would i could believe a mr pink code base would be absolute madness not saying it is like his stuff might be very clean and stuff but 
Um, he's the guy who made uh, Golden Light. Yeah, not uh, not Cruelty Squad. Uh, that's that is also in Godot, mm -hmm. but uh, that is a different different uh, developer. That's Philly. Yeah, yeah. There's there's been quite a few blows to my expected workflow for indie stuff over the past few months between um, between Unity being obviously the big one and then textures.com went away uh it's <laughs> it was ugh. but i'm yeah i got butcher's creek to finish up which i'm now working consistently on i'm working for two to three hours a day um on that which is actually sort of that was inspired so hold on let me talk to this person and then i'll get into that is that a shark? Yes, it is. Let me see it, so that I may help you to see light, to see hope. Okay. However faint it might be. Oh, still don't have moving mouths in this, huh? No, that's not something that they added until, uh, I want to say Sekiro. Oh, really? And it's either Sekiro or Elden Ring. Not yeah, even Bloodborne, huh? Or no. Dark Souls 3? No. Do I have an SDS? So, where did I get that? I don't remember how one of those. Mouth animations I mean, are overrated. Do I have another? Oh, wow, I got a... Okay, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you found one uh, where you were just now. Okay. I picked it up. I need to pay more attention. Um... Hmm. So that seemed to be everything in the mansion, and I will just ask, was that everything in the mansion, or did I miss something? Uh, for now, that's everything in the mansion. Okay, yeah. Um, I kind of don't want to do this, but I feel like I gotta head back to here. Um, you can either progress forest of the giants or um or hides ruin those are those are two options you can pick either one okay i'll probably go with forest of the giants then um so again since i since we gotta make progress this stream <laughs> some sort of progress uh that would be at the second checkpoint right yeah okay um so this is a big, long, like, well, not long, long can. This is a long can of rabbits, or a long worm trail. Um, <laughs> where, uh, but I won't go completely into it. Uh, wait, 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 that would be, it'd be opening. Let me, hold on, let me think here. Opening a tra trail of worms, or a long can of rabbits. That's what it would be. So, um... I have been having trouble creatively and, well, in, in every mental way possible, I've been having trouble. But specifically, um, in this case, creatively for a while. Um, I'd say even but a year or more. And there's a bunch of different reasons what, that I'm not going to go into. But I've, I was talking to Mark about this when I was... Uh, he brought me to Austin to look over the edit, the most recent edit of the movie. Um, and he, we, so we talked a lot about that and his take on what it means to be a creator and to you know, make stuff is a little different. Oh, wow, my shield did not block that. Is different than mine has been and he goes further than I'm willing to go and that his life is entirely focused on his work uh, which I used to be also I can't as much now because just because I have a family um, so I can't go quite that far but his way of looking at it was much more like disciplined I'd say than mine is um, like 
and basically what I took from that was it was like a different way of looking at it, not looking at it as is is it going to be fulfilling today for me to go work? Um, or is this going to make me happy? But looking at, wow, 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 okay. Looking at it more like I have this goal I want to achieve and I don't care if I, I don't care what is going to make me happy or what's going to be comfortable in this moment. I know I want to reach this goal, so I'm going to work at it. Um, so coming back from that, I was like, you know, I've been, I hadn't been working and it'd be driving me crazy because I was kind of waiting to feel like I was at a point where I could, or like I was waiting to feel like I was ready and after that, like, you know what, let's not even just wait. I'm gonna, just going to say two hours a day. Like, that's that's a tiny work week. Like, two hours a day, I'm going to say every day, every weekday, I'm going to go work. Um, and that's actually been really great. Oh, man, stun punk. There we go. Yeah, that, I, could tr I could be doing more parrying. That's true. You're also when when you're explaining things, you're also an extremely passive player. You kind of oh, uh, am I? Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, Good to know. Um, I should which explain makes, less. Which, <laughs> well, no, no, no. It's 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 the streamer thing. It's yeah, like you're, it definitely. You're, is. you're dividing your brain attention, so you're you're sort of you're in reaction mode rather yeah. than uh, proaction mode. I, I, hear I do a it too. Behind me. I don't have enough trouble. Sorry, I heard a sound I, I thought was child whining, which is now distracting me. Bye, guys. Um, yeah, and I have a I have enough trouble talking as it is <laughs> without having to concentrate on a Souls game while I'm doing it. I have gotten myself into a unenviable pickle. situation yeah. here. Quite the pickle when you say. Yeah. Goodbye, guys. I was like, <laughs> he's, he's just gonna start running ahead, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, that's. That was my plan at first. Uh, I regret that plan. Oh, actually, oh, there's a guy there too. Uh, and I'm dead. All right. <sighs> <laughs> Who's the voice coaching? Oh, Dylan is also here. The voice coaching. <laughs> yeah, I could probably use voice coaching of some sort. I was telling Rachel last night because. I have suspected recently that while I'm I've I have been diagnosed with ADHD, I've been suspecting recently that I might be somewhat on the autism spectrum, but I don't have any sort of actual professional opinion about that. Um, I might get one just to know, just, like I might actually get the psychological testing just to know if I'm if I actually have a reason for being so... Like, <laughs> this is going so badly! I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, yeah, if I have, like actually have a reason for going, <laughs> being so awkward and weird, or if I'm just awkward and weird. But I was asking Rachel uh, last... Or the, the other night, I was like, so do I... What What is with my voice? Like, do I have a weird, like, monotone voice? Is it just... Like, because I know my voice is super weird. Um, and it always has been. Uh, but I don't know exactly why. And we decided... This is Dusk Death, yes. Oh, and I'm explaining, and... I'm just feel poorly. Oh, no! Uh... Go over. What? No, no, no! It's all gone wrong. Um, we decided that I really missed my calling by not being, like, a cartoon or voice actor. Like, <laughs> because I have such a such a bizarre voice. I would have been great oh. for doing a cartoon character. Why did you wait on on the swing? Oh, I know. Okay, all right. We gotta. I gotta concentrate. I gotta actually make progress. Gotta make progress. I I am aware that I'm not healing. Um, after the fact, I am very aware that I am not healing after I have died. I. <laughs> that's not helpful. Uh. Come on, you're you alive? Yes, you are alive. I'm not even gonna lock onto you, that's how little respect I have for you. 
Oh, I did it! Nice. I love parries. Again, another reason why I'm sure I would really love Sekiro. Yeah, all the um, all the Sakura fans watching the like Shadow of the Earth Tree trailer just being like, it should have been us. <laughs> I always forget how many different, um, how many Souls games there are, which there aren't that many. I just always forget I, when I'm, when I'm like listing them in my head, I always forget either Sekiro or Bloodborne. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're, they're the kind of like, Bloodborne is, is like an honorary addition. Sekiro is kind of... There's a lot of DNA in there, but, uh... Oh, dear! Oh, no! That was so... also kind of... <laughs> oh, my God. He almost threw you off. Oh, no! <laughs> so is, um... Se how's it pronounced? Sekiro? Or S Sekiro? Uh, Sekiro? Don't, don't make... Don't make me try and, like... Uh, like... Oh, yeah, it's pronounced like this, because I want to say... But you're the voice coach, Dylan! No! <laughs> it's oh, not I an English I'm, word, I don't know. I think I'm peaking really bad. I'm gonna turn my mic down. Suke... Sukeiro? What? No, it's not Sukeiro. That can't be right. I just call it Sekiro. Sek I don't know. It's probably wrong. You like the Sekiro better than Bloodborne, huh? Bloodshot? Huh. To be honest, I am... Um... I get because people ask like, "Oh, what's your like favorite Soulsborne game or whatever?" Um, I don't really kind of view these games in that capacity. Oh, shoot. I yeah. I like enjoy them at diff for different reasons and for like different what I'm kind of like looking for. Like, I, if if I'm in the mood to play like Bloodborne, I'll play Bloodborne. If I'm in the mood to play like Dark Souls, I'll play Dark Souls. It's mm -hmm. I, it's always I always find it kind of interesting that uh that these games yeah. definitely elicit like a oh this is this is the best one because I feel like they're even though there's like shared DNA, they're all kind of doing their own little different things. That is true. Um, like I was say I forget this may have been when you were uh, restarting your computer. But I start... <sighs> stupid damage trade. Uh, I started another playthrough of Elden Ring that I'm going to be slowly like chipping away at um, to get ready for the DLC. And I'd forgotten how different some of the stuff is. Like, control-wise oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, Dylan's also here. Well, not here in person. He's on Discord. With... Oh, yes! I forgot about the awesome back... It's like a... It's... It's like a the raid backstab. <laughs> you yeah, know what I mean? It's great. Yeah. Um Yeah, I so when uh, excuse me. When we finished the Dark Souls playthrough, uh the stream, when we finished that, I remember feeling like it was like, yeah, that was a pretty good game. I'm glad I played it. I I'm I'm like satiated now. Like I probably don't need to replay that for a long time. Um, like, it wasn't gonna go into, like, my favorite games, or it was just like, yeah, that was good. Um, and then, since then, I just keep being like, I need to play more Dark Souls. <laughs> what?! Yeah, it, what it, the?! <laughs> what?! <laughs> what happened?! <laughs> what exploded?! Okay, so all <laughs> these barrels around you are technically full of gunpowder. Oh! Um, I do not... So, I don't know why... Uh, their melee attacks explode the barrels. Is it just... Is it all enemy melee? I don't know, actually. Um, because... Oh, no. Know... So, no, Dylan, someone in chat just said they hate on Dark Souls 2 because they played it as a kid. Oh, uh, yeah. No! We, we, are, we are dying. <laughs> we are definitely dying. I... Um... <laughs> oh, I'm so old. Anyway, sorry, what were you saying? So the, yeah, it's like... These are gunpowder, it... huh? Yeah, like, they, they bring this back in, like, Elden Ring. It's yeah. like, oh, explosive barrels, but you need fire to ignite them. But in this game, they kind of don't give a shit. They're kind of just like, oh, well, you know, I get him the, the turtle's melee weapon should blow it up. Yeah, I mean, I'm grateful. That worked out very well in my favor, but... um, Oh, jeez, like, what were we... Oh, yeah, so... Ooh, a ladder. 
Um, so ever since, like, I've played a bu- Oh no, it's a dragon! Okay, I was- No, it's a bird. It's a big bird. Okay, I was ready for another Dark Souls bridge moment to suddenly happen. Oh, uh, you know. Oh. Something's happening here. Yeah. <laughs> it's another dude in armor. Okay. Backstab. No backstab, okay. No backstab. This guy I don't know, is... my damage output is really not gonna cut it for this guy right now, I don't think. The, that guy is uh, honestly the best uh, parry learner. learner. Oh, okay. The best, best parry teacher in, in this game, I think. Gotcha. Um, what was this? Yeah, so it's very much like classic survival horror in a way. But you know what? While I'm doing this, let me see if I can get that thing. I wonder if I can get him from here by jumping. Gotta kill these guys first. Uh, I, lo I we're love that you're going from, I just lost my souls to, maybe I should make this lethal jump. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. They're souls. They're, they can get them back funny. somehow. Um, Radiant life gem, yo. Nice. Ah, that was, that was clean. This, that was risky, <laughs> but it paid off. All right. Oh my god, I just saw your roll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that was the risky part. Yeah, it's very much like classic survival horror where I'm just like, it's there's just something really fun about running through it once you know, once you kind of know the game a bit better. Wow, that worked. Oh, and it did like... No oh, I'm in trouble. All right, all right, all right. This was a mistake. This was a mistake. This was a... Oh. Wow, that, that plunge attack did do no damage. It did, like, nothing. What the heck? Hey, but that worked, though. Good to know for later. All right, back to the path I was exploring. <clears throat> yeah, people... So, you, Dylan, and some people in chat have said that this game ends up being really fun in that same way once you... Uh, once you beat it. Is that where it's comfy to replay? Yeah, I, I like coming back to this game just because I like a lot of the zones and, and the uh, atmosphere, and there are a lot yeah. of like really fun builds you can do. I think, I, think, I think a lot of their games just have uh, really nice like atmosphere in places. Yeah. And it's just kind of, it's nice to come back. Like, I'm, I'm also uh, I came back to like Elden Ring and Doing a build I've never, I never played. I'm doing like a kind of weird faith fire, holy build. Yeah. Um. You know I don't think and, I can. Oh, sorry. Go ahead and finish. Uh, yeah, and, and just like coming back to it and sort of like oh, just like messing with things that I I didn't do the first time. And, uh, it, it's nice to just kind of do that with these games. Yeah. Uh, right, especially once you've beaten them. Do this again with this guy. I mean, I take damage from it, but it's worth it. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, oh. it's great. Oh no, the pancaking! Oh no, another guy! Okay. Slice him. Roll. You, sir, are not welcome. There. Whew! Um... Yeah, actually, come to think of it, so Dark Souls 1 and Elden Ring are the only two FromSoft games I've played, and um, both of those are games that I'm like, ah, oh, I really want to replay. So maybe that'll be the case for all of them <laughs> once I... Oh, wow, he survived that. Is his health... Re oh, yeah, 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 okay, no, no, I got the message, I got the message. Um, I... Are you serious with this? <laughs> uh, well. Knock him off. Oh, I hear footsteps. That's bad. Okay, not too bad. wonder if he will... No, he's going to go around it. Oh, he doesn't do it. Just the turtle. Go. 
go. That he is doesn't very have. Fun. He doesn't have the turtle magic. Yeah. <laughs> this is the only. Dark Souls One, and probably by extension Elden Ring. I just haven't really gotten into replaying it yet. Are the only games I can think of where I really would care to try it again with a different build. I know that's a big thing in RPGs, and I've just never really gotten into that. Yeah. But I think because of the crossover of, like, RPG and survival horror elements, I love replaying survival horror games. And there's a lot of that DNA in Dark Souls in different ways, so it's like, oh, okay. Oh, but he set it off? I am so, confused. I think, um... Someone noted earlier that uh, apparently there is a random chance that uh, ah, okay. yeah, that it can explode. Also, you found that seems a... like a very Dark Souls two thing to do. Yes, you also it blew up that wall. Which I got is a, a thing... shortcut. Yeah, it, that's a it's a shortcut that a lot of people miss because it's you know because they suck less er, than I do. Yes, immersive it moment. Is, is Dark Souls an immersive sim? No, it is not. Dark Souls is not an immersive sim. Don't start that discourse, please. Oh, and those those barrels stay destroyed. Okay. Yeah, I don't think any of their games are immersive sims, but I do appreciate the funny things they added to Elden Ring, like uh, fire does less damage when it's raining, and electricity yeah. d does more damage oh, if they're shit. in water. I want to try and get a drop attack from that guy. Oh, come on! <laughs> the wall says no. Stupid wall. Oh, man. Going back up. Who is... Oh, yeah, that guy. Forgot about him. I'll bet his bombs will set them off. Oh, the turtle's back! I forgot... Oh, these are... Are they just destroyed forever now? Because that's uh... unfortunate. I think you have to, like, leave and then come back to the area. Okay. Not all walls are... Wall clangs are an immersive sim feature. Uh, that's true, there are no flushable toilets. However, most... Even though I, I, I came up with that metric... Oh, there they are, they're back. Um, I will say most of the classic immersive sims do not have flushable toilets. Like, I think the... In fact, I think... Oh, man, the stun locking is feels a lot more aggressive in this than in the first game. Or is that because of agility? Uh, agility doesn't affect... Uh, no, it wouldn't, because the poison this game is only hyper armor. Uh, okay. I think it's just because you're wearing light armor. Or okay. light-ish armor. Also, you, this... You, Oh. You should get your souls. You had, like, a, over a thousand souls. That is true. That involves effort, however. Ooh, wait. Was that... Aha! Look at the wall. Look! Behold. Look at what ha what you have wrought. <laughs> Look at what your foolish hands have wrought. <laughs> Do you remember... Is What was that? Uh, I think that was an old Penny Arcade cartoon, wasn't it? You don't no one even knows what I'm talking about. Never. It's one of those one of those sentences that sticks in my mind and I don't know where it's from. Just look at what your foolish hands have wrought. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, dear. And the turtle has exploded. Good. It's from Penny oh, Arcade. Are okay, yeah. A bit of sloppy. Isn't that, uh, isn't that just a mainstay of of from yeah. soft games? Sloppy geometry. There's, so I was um, uh, I was getting some references for some level design I'm doing in Gloomwood. Wait, look at the crow animation. I know it's look beautiful. This is amazing. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Um, and uh, so there's a section in the Land of Sewers in uh, Elden Ring, uh, where you can actually see the uh the surface it's like a big cylindrical tunnel area uh -huh. that leads down to the forsaken chapel and if you look up you can see the surface and someone like put a pin on the map there and then went to the surface area 
of uh, of the like capital and mm -hmm. tried to find where that connects to, and it didn't connect to anywhere. It just it was like a, a like the middle of a street. Really, <laughs> and they got they wrote a whole post about how mad they were. <laughs> <laughs> they're like this game is unplayable what a huge oversight oh jeez yeah it's like yeah that's a that's a very these kind of games do that kind of thing yeah my name is Peyton. honestly like it's based as hell like who cares <laughs> who cares if there's sloppy geometry focus on the stuff that matters there's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself okay so are the unsavory bandits more or less dangerous than the the giant psychotic turtle? Like that genuine question. Like, why do I care about bandits? Have you seen the things I'm fighting? Have you seen the turtles? Yeah, have you s <laughs> seen the? Oh, let's see. What would be like a a ye old English way of saying teenage mutant ninja turtles? Oh god. <laughs> sure. Hope some team got laid off for that one. <laughs> yeah. It's just I just think focusing on stuff like that is dumb, and I think that developers focusing on what matters, like the overall visual the the overall visual picture and the gameplay and stuff like that is way more important than Focusing on like, oh, there's this little bit of geometry that is... Uh-oh, that's a problem. What am I hearing? Also, this is such an Elden Ring area. Or I guess that that area in Elden Ring is more of a such a Dark Souls 2 area. Uh, uh, what? Yeah. Oh, dear, there's a lot of them. I you, don't... Uh, you... Welcome, welcome to the gank now, squad. Yeah, <laughs> now the gank begins in earnest. Oh, jeez, how am I gonna handle this? Here are I the have, bandits! I have a witching urn. Yeah, yeah, you're right! These are the bandits. Let's try this. Um... I am... I am underwhelmed. Yeah, I think because it just hit the dude right in front of you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Same with that one! Uh, <laughs> Here are the bandits. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Just the way they all lope out stupidly. <laughs> like, hello! Like it's a, like it's a rodeo show. <laughs> yeah! Here come the bandits! Oh, alright. Um, that was a lot of souls, wasn't it? Not inventory. Yeah. I wanted to see if any of these things are better than... Hollow Soldier armor is actually better... Although I don't know at what point I'm going to get into fat rolling. Okay, those gauntlets are the best I have. Oh, so this one's kind of in interesting. Um, it's better for... Oh, okay. For nothing. It is better for nothing. There. So we'll just stick with this. Um Yeah, not that not that armor makes that big a difference. Um, at least in, in terms of damage reduction right now. The main problem is me sucking. And why did I go down here? This has nothing to do with what I'm trying yeah, to do. Yeah, it's like It's like, oh no! Why are we going down here? Cuz I'm I this is this is how I do like 5 hours worth of playing Dark Souls 2 and don't get to a single boss. <laughs> and by this the way, is this is how I am in real life also. Um I just get to be like la 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 la. Oh, what's over here? Honestly same. Uh and this is why like people being like oh the the DLC is gonna be too small, yeah. Uh, and then and then remembering that they said that the main game was only gonna be thirty hours long. Are there people not, saying so... the DLC is gonna be too small? Oh yeah, that's what? stupid. There's it's not gonna be too small. I mean maybe it is. I don't I but like it's it's Elden Ring. <laughs> How's the, I guess they mean for the price. Yeah, I guess so. 
Like to be fair, that is like, a high oh, price. It is definitely a high price, but I mean, considering the amount of content in the base game, I don't know. I, I feel like it's probably justified. Yeah. I maybe this is putting too much trust in, but I feel like they wouldn't charge that if they didn't have the content to back it up. Yeah, um, and they've been working on it for a long time too. Who's the publisher of Elden Ring? I forget. Bandai Na Namco. Okay. I don't know much about them. The, the oh! I, <laughs> I saw that. I saw the, the movement. Yeah, that, that room is very mean. <laughs> okay, so oh, they're just coming out here now. Here's the gank. I didn't mean to roll twice. That was weird. Oh. Ripperoni, souls Aroni. Yeah. I still haven't pre-ordered the DLC, though. Just because there doesn't seem to be any incentive to do so. No, you're, you're, you're perpetual. <laughs> Wait, I, like, this is, this is, I just had a, a lot of really funny thoughts on a quick okay. session. Okay, just, list them out, my, then. My, bra my, my brain for, at first was like, no, you're perpetrating, uh, Perpetuating? Pre-order... Per yeah, thank you. I Words. Um, yeah. You're, you're supporting uh, pre-order bonus culture. And then I was thinking, like, no, wait. By pre-ordering, you're you're supporting pre-order culture. And then I was like, <laughs> shit, which one are we supposed to support now? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, and it is true that, like, I probably shouldn't pre-order stuff. Because um, it really is just... Yeah, it's not, like... It's not like there's really any benefit on the consumer side, and the pre-order bonuses are just there to create benefit where there is none, if that makes sense. Like, so, it kind of is a lame thing, but at the same time, I don't know. I mean, it's FromSoft. I wanna, I, I'm fine supporting FromSoft. Um, what I don't like... Um so, From Software's stuff, I, I'm totally fine pre-ordering because it's like... Uh, I actually like that they don't have any pre-order bonuses because the mm -hmm. thing that kind of miffed me uh, last year, I really loved the the Resident Evil 4 remake. I thought it was mm -hmm. an excellent game. I thought their pre-order bonuses were dog shit uh, because they they were basically elements that were in the game that you could not access or find uh, unless you had it like pre-order. Bonus. Ah, gotcha. Like they, it, yeah. it, it affected like actual gameplay stuff in the game, and uh, that's I just don't Jeez. like. I get if it's like you know, oh my god, you got gang, got so <laughs> you got, you got gang bang. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I get it if it's like you know, uh, like whatever, a skin skins or cosmetics or whatever. I still don't really like it. I I, I don't I, pre-order mm -hmm. bonuses really. I'm just like. Eh. Yeah, that's but a like, good point. So maybe in this case I should pre-order because there is no pre-order bonus and it's just to support them. I guess that yeah. would make the most sense. Like I'm gonna just, buy it anyway, so like I might as well. Yeah, it doesn't like it doesn't matter. You can you can buy it on release. Like it it doesn't matter, and I kind of like that it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I, I guess I'm I'm used. That's what I'm kind of used to before. You know, everything became. You have to pre-order it, or else you, you know. Yeah, that's a good point. All, yeah, that's you're missing a, out. That's a very good point. Um, yeah, I may just buy because, like I said, I am gonna buy it anyway, uh, unless there's something. I don't know. I can't think of any reason I wouldn't buy it unless it is literally broken on both Steam Deck and PC. <laughs> Oh uh, man, Strider, you just. Oh, me. I know that about that one. The Estes, the. Uh, Dark that Souls 3 Estus Flask, right? That shit is legendary. Yeah. That shit is, like, the marketing, and then, like, there was some people started, like, uploading pictures of what it actually looked like, and it was just so bad. It's, it was, like, a really basic 3D uh, printed looking yeah, thing, right? Yeah, it, it was, it was garbage. It was amazing. And it didn't, you couldn't even, yeah, it didn't have, like, you couldn't use it. It was just bad. It was so, Man. it was, yeah, the, uh, I will say the mesmer statue does look a lot cooler than that. Uh, although I didn't, I didn't get the collector's edition. I'm, I just, I'm just, gonna, yeah. I just got the the base DLC. I'm, yeah, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not huge on uh, 
yeah, I'm, I'm not like collector uh, collector editions aren't really my like my thing. Yeah, I like them if there's like I'll I'll pay pig a little bit for collector's editions if they have stuff that I think is cool. Like some of the some of the Bethesda Doom ones I thought were really cool where they have like the um the metal floppy disk or like the Ooh, I can use it. Stuff like that where it's like is this worth the amount of money I'm paying? No, but I'll do it. You know, I'm like I'm well, willing to do that. But then I'm not as big at like the I don't even know who Mesmer is. Why do I want a statue of them? You know what I mean? Right, exactly. Oh, it's a it's a it's a, it's a good-looking statue, but you're right. You know what I really wanted? Uh I wanted some like a statue or some sort of thing of the uh the clay men. I the clay thought, men, yeah, I love them. I, yeah, I don't know why, but that was they that was one where while playing I'm like, I really want a statue of these guys. <laughs> I like their magic is so I that's the thing that I kind of appreciate about Elden Ring. The magic mm -hmm. is just so like batshit. Like Yeah. They cast like water bubbles, the the musicians and the capital shoot you with like a thousand like golden bubbles. Like they yeah. literally made they made blowing bubbles a magic type. Like what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Uh, someone, someone's wait. Uh, someone said metal floppy disk is a 3D printed save icon. That, oh boy. No, but I see where <laughs> I see your point. I guess. I'm now. I want like an actual. Someone's got to make these somewhere. What are they up to? What is happening there? Beating the tree. Yeah. Huh. Um. I, I now I want like an actual proper glass Estus flask. That'd be cool. Yeah, that would be cool. I think people were like hoping for that for the collector's edition for Dark Souls Three, and yeah. Then they were then they were like, uh, why did I get like a plastic toy instead? <laughs> yeah. Fill it with Sunny D. Yeah. Yeah, Bethesda and pre-orders uh, do not have a great track record. But the collector's edition things they've done with Doom have been pretty cool. Like Doom and Quake. Um, they have some cool stuff. I have a bunch of that on my shelves. Was it, a, was it Fallout that... Yeah, Fallout 76. That had the helmets that had, like, mold in them and stuff? Oh, I don't remember the helmets with mold. Fall Ow. Fallout 76, I remember the, uh, the canvas bag. Oh my god, the canvas bag. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so oh I ran out of stamina. Stupid. Stupid to run out of stamina. Yeah, <laughs> canvas. Um, I have not played original Dark Souls 2. And I... I, re I refuse to get involved with original Dark Souls 2 versus Scholar discourse. I'm, I'm not gonna this get is, involved. Not this, this is, time. This is this is not not your war. This is not my war. I am going to play this version of the game and enjoy it. Alas, nothing happened. All right. That's a messed up looking tree. Oh, that tree's a dude, isn't it? Is that tree a dude? That looks like a dude. Huh. That's totally a dude. He is it's a so man. much easier than Scholar. Is it so much easier? Uh, Scholar makes a couple changes that make the game a little harder. I think it's fine though. This is like I said. We, I, I, I had, I had my reasons for why I picked this version of the yeah, game. Yeah, which makes sense to me. Um. Okay. Yeah, this is a new area. <sighs> Okay, so I can go around that way. <laughs> yeah, Souls fandom in a microcosm. We are even divisive over which version of the divisive game is the, is the one we prefer. <laughs> well, I don't think anyone is... I've never heard anyone say that Scholar is better, right? Oh, there's plenty of people who are Oh, like are there? That. There's, okay. there's, plenty, there's plenty of people who, Ooh, like, think... 
either version is like either amazing or absolutely garbage compared yeah. to the other. Um, oh, some more geometry. And uh, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, usually those version things are not a huge deal. Huge deal. Even, even back with the uh, the Unity port of Doom, like some people still think it's a, it's it's an atrocity. It's fine. It's still Doom. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to see what the deal is with this. It seems better overall. No, 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 it doesn't. Um, because I don't have the shield equipped. <laughs> they're still they're both still okay. dark souls too so eh. <laughs> as a scholar is better so scholar is better but much worse than <laughs> French mm. I don't YouTube understand most of what Chad is saying right now it's fine YouTube <laughs> told me I should hate this game that, that oh, is, that sums that is, up so many games. That just sums up so much stuff. Yeah, so many games are. It's. I I talked about this last time. It's like it's infuriating sometimes. This is kind of dark. Oh, I wonder if I can light my torch off of that. There's a really weird thing that happened with Dark Souls two and three, which is Dark Souls two came out. People did not like it. They 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 were like, oh man, the the B team ruined it. Then Dark Souls three came out. People were like, Miyazaki has done it again. He's like knocked it out of the park with Dark Souls three. It's amazing. And then over time, they started to kind of reverse. Yeah. Like a lot of people were like, actually, Dark Souls two is amazing. It's it's a uh, it's you know pr prophetic. Uh, and it's actually Dark Souls 3 that's the, the bad one. It's stale. It's, it's It just retreads a lot of Dark Souls 1. So it's, uh, yeah, it's weird. It's it's interesting that, like, things have kind of changed over that time. I like both games, uh, for different reasons. Mm -hmm. Um, I've put a lot of time into both Dark Souls 2 and 3. Honestly, but, the um, older I get, the less patience I have for, like, fandom arguments. I'm like trying to trying to decide which thing in the series is the the best one and which is the worst one and stuff. It does, like <laughs> I'm just getting to the point where I'm like I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, I, whatever. I, I I tend to um I tend to put a lot of love on Dark Souls too to sort of counteract the amount of like people saying to sort of counteract that whole like YouTube told me to hate this game so I shouldn't even yeah. give it a chance cuz my my feeling is that uh, if if you're interested in a game and YouTube is like, no, you shouldn't play this game, uh, everyone says it's bad, but you're still kind of like, oh, I kind of want to try it, you should just try it. There's so many games out there where people are like, I, I don't like the whole culture of trying to get people to not try games uh, Yeah. because I of a sort of zeitgeist around it. Like I get it if if you if, if it's if it's a you know you're you're strapped for cash. Um, and yeah, the, of course. The place you're, you're getting it doesn't have like a a robust refund system like Steam does. Um, but for the most part, I'm I'm kind of an advocate for like oh, if if a game interests you, even an inkling, you should probably just give it a go. Yeah. So. There's a bunch of different directions I could go. Um, I'll try down here. I thought this was a slide at first, <laughs> which would effectively be a sawtooth path. That oh. that Yoda improves the bed of chaos video. <laughs> it is so good. I just the, I was recommend recommended that organically, and I was so I thought. At first, it was going to be a normal mod, like, and and then as soon as he went down, and there was the Capra demon and the Bone Wheel skeletons. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm, I'm oh, gonna geez. pull. I'm gonna pull that up and post it in. in okay, the yeah, chat, yeah, post so, that in chat so people know what we're talking about. <laughs> it's great. So this also appears to be um, some gank happening here. Well, 
here's the fun thing. This is the gank squad. This is that, oh. that squad that I ganked oh, you. Okay. Oh yeah, that does that does make sense. Okay, well I could have if I had been smarter, I could have gotten a backstab on at least one of them. But I think this'll be okay. Yeah. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Every time we say gank squad, I just think of um, uh, Princess Bride with the Brute Squad. Yeah. I think it's time for a rewatch. I haven't watched that movie in a few years. Yeah, there's the there's the video. It's really... It's... Yeah, yeah, it's worth a watch. It's funny. Okay, that uh, narrows down that path. I don't know how to unclose the door though. Not now talk to Pate. How do, there must be there must be a way. The gank squad must have closed it somehow. <laughs> They're just hanging out in here. There's not even any reason to be in this in here for them. They're just in here waiting. Just waiting for some hopeless person to come by. Yeah. So where... Hmm. Well, um, I don't know if there is a way to open that. Is there a lever next? No. Um, so I'll just go back around then. Uh, don't stop. I, I do think it's mm -hmm. funny. There's, there is that screenshot in Dark Souls 3 that I think is hilarious where someone took... Because they do that thing where bonfires like spawn after you beat a boss, someone oh, okay. took a picture where there's like two, maybe even like three bon, or uh, yeah, there's two bonfires right next to each other, <laughs> and people are like, like, where is your level design now? <laughs> it's I, I think it's it's next to the dragon armor boss, and then leading into the, uh, boy, it's been so long, the study area. The Grand Archives, that's it. Well, I see you managed to escape. Yes. I hope that brave warrior didn't come a cropper either. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon trap. It's like, uh, anytime you see the elevator in this game, you see, like, but impossible right in front of it as a message. <laughs> Just an amazing way to get, uh, message ratings. Good luck. Somebody will lend you a hand. <laughs> The last time I've been playing this on my uh, my Steam Deck and uh, mm -hmm. uh, people post like oversight ahead. <laughs> oversight <laughs> ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Do these guys respawn? Let's walk in and. See. Oh no! What happened? Oh, it crashed. What? Whoa! That's weird. I don't think I've ever seen this game crash like I have, that before. I don't think I have ever had. A FromSoft game crash. Huh. Damn. Yeah, the game ganked itself. I defeated Dark Souls 2. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, game been played. Okay, yes, I know. There is no new information. Well, let's see where it takes me. <laughs> Take it back, DS2 sucks. So y you've been playing uh, this one on your Steam Deck? Oh, I'm right here. Yes. Um, I f this also strikes me as being a really good... Uh, magic. Did I get the soapstone from him? That's what I'm... Wait, uh, it looks like it... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it looks like it just saved right after you talked to him, so yeah. you only missed like a couple seconds of walking. Nice. It's Yeah, it's funny because... These are games where you could totally get away with not even really having a save system, just having you respawn back at um, whatever your last bonfire was. But they always, are, they're like really good about saving your progress. Yeah. <laughs> even though they could get away with not. Uh, let's see. I love this, this sky. It's really cool. The skyboxes in this game are awesome. Yeah. All their all of their skyboxes are great. 
Uh, what was were was I influenced in by Fromm's level design when making the fishery in Gloomwood? <laughs> um, so, it's a mix of yeah. I'm I'm definitely influenced by From Software's design in general, but a lot of that has overlap with like survival horror. Yeah. The the like the shortcuts, the the save rooms. The, those are things that oh, cool. uh, cross pollinate between survival horror and From Software's work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the thing is that Souls level, de- like Soulsborn level design that people talk about, is just survival horror level design, but. I guess in some ways better. Like they are, they are uh, crazier with some of the shortcuts. But yeah. um, oh, does my shield still function even when I don't hold it up? I uh, don't think so. Huh? Because I, because I'm hearing a wood sound when he's hitting. Me. Oh shoot. Yeah, uh, RE1 Remake is like the, it's, it's like the golden standard for survival horror shortcuts and level layout. Yeah, it's... Specifically, of course, the mansion area, it's just, uh, crazy what they do with them. (laughs) The way he, like... He wiggles down the stairs. <laughs> yeah. So good. But there, there's definitely times where I'm like, oh, I'm I'm making, and this will be apparent in the next update, um, I'm making an area and I'm specifically referencing a moment from Dark Souls. Yeah. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of overlap with, because like I've talked about, like Dark Souls 1 shares a lot of DNA with classic survival horror. Like, I'm not going to outright say it is a survival horror game, because it's not, but it shares a lot of the same DNA, um, which is probably one of the reasons I resonate with it so much. Oh, wow. Yeah, I... I, This is a death area, because they're going to throw bombs, right? Yeah. Where were your souls? Um, this way, but I'm going... Are there bombs? Oh, right, 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 right. You died died from the two spear guys guarding the hallway. Are the bombs not going to set these barrels off? Hmm. I know as soon as I go in... There we go! I knew that was going to (laughs) happen. Like, as soon as I went in. (laughs) There's the souls. I should probably be trying more carrying. It is so funny that one of the first guides for Elden Ring was the many the many feet in the lands between. Yeah. And I love that it includes all the monster feet. Like, <laughs> it's the feet of like demi-humans and bats and like that's the amazing. clay men. Oh, that's not a parryable attack. Okay. It's like, I'll practice have parrying a, on them. I always have a hard time parrying spears. Yes. Um... I don't even, I don't, I don't tr- par- try to parry them anymore in the first game. Yeah, they're I should tough. be able to, but, but oh, that was supposed to be a bash. We can't recounter them. I freaking wish. Oh, see, yeah, but- his his shield was still. I swear the shield is still effective even when I'm not holding it up. Oh, with the spear you can attack even with a shield um, up. Oh, that's okay. Thing, that's a thing that uh, is exclusive to spears. Okay, this shield has 100% physical reduction, it looks like. I don't think it does. I think that shield really? has 85. Huh. Maybe I was just not looking properly. Oh, that was supposed to be a bash. There's Remember? The yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say that. There we go. Eh, attempt was made. <laughs> so, I'm gonna die to this one spearman, aren't I? There we go. Just kick their shield. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... Uh, there's not a kick in this. It's this. 
Which the same. Oh, wow, I'm having trouble pulling it off for some reason. Here we go. Okay. And there's a fog door. Ooh, that's a big sword. Jeez. Ah! <laughs> that was very rude of them. Okay, do we have any barrels? I don't know if these barrels count, but we'll try it. Stop for the roll. And... Oh. <laughs> all right. Let's do the life gem. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> that was so... That was so lame. I thought it was going to be a... I mean, it was a plunge attack. He's not supposed to be able to do that. Ugh, oh, all the way back here. Well, it's not that far, actually. I am going to try Turtle's this again. Squished. Really? That doesn't count as a plunge. Okay, that's fine. There's a lot happening right this moment. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. All I can see is, yep, the 3,000 souls disappearing. Yeah, yeah, that was... That was unfortunate. I probably should have leveled up, gone back and leveled up um, when I had those souls. Oh, well. I'm just... My, um... My MMR is going down. My MMR. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had no souls. Okay. Yeah. Haha. Okay, so with this this thing, is that a like Okay, no, it just takes a while. I was wondering yeah. if I was hold making it take longer by holding the button down. Like, um... Uh... Yeah, there's certain attacks in Elden Ring that are like that, aren't they? Aren't there? Uh, yeah, so you... Um, some of the, the Ashes of War, like, kick... Uh, will allow you to, like, kick a shield away. There's also the... It's not quite the same thing, but there's the guard counter. Like, if you block mm -hmm. attack, you can, you can do, like, a quick retaliate. R no, what I mean is, um... Oh, the black barrels are gunpowder. Okay. Um, aren't there attacks in Elden Ring that it's like the longer you hold the button down, the longer the wind yes. takes? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thought I was remembering that. So if I attack the gunpowder, will it go off? Uh, I. No. I guess not. Let's see if I can beat this. The thing that like uh, I have to remember when I go when I go back to like Elden Ring is that there's like running attacks for some magic spells and there's uh, for spells? running attacks yeah um, and there's running attacks for uh, bows too like if you if you run or, really? or jump with the bow it, you like fire a quick shot it's, it's I actually didn't know that good. that's awesome. So this might be heresy, but I kind of like that I don't have to go repair stuff. I kind of like that it's um, much quicker degradation and it's just between bonfires. Yeah. I may like that less as we go further into the game. We will see. Okay. Let's review. Nothing that way. Plunge attacks have been betraying me recently. Um. Really? Okay. That quick spear attack is so I know, irritating. Yeah, the spear spears are are mean. 
yeah, the, the stun lock is very punishing in this um, compared to the first game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the spear and shield guys are... <laughs> I think you did the same thing like six times in a row. Yeah, I think you're right. I... <sighs> I okay. Gotta do better. Could try parrying him. It's just those quick attacks are so nasty. Why is it pe Oh, that brings up a question I wanted to ask. Uh, hold on. Would I be interested in making a third-person game at some point? I definitely am not opposed to making a third-person game. Um, it would... It would just depend on what the project is. Pretty much everything that I've made, I like. I think it's all better in first person than it would be in third. Um, but if I were, to... oh, he doesn't have a shield. Sorry, I'm explaining and I'm playing stupid. Anyway, um, like if I were to do a classic survival horror game, which I don't think I would do at this point because that ship has kind of sailed. Um, Back right after Dusk came out would have been the time. And I could feel that, too. Like, um, that was the time where it's like, survival horror is going to come back. And now it has come back, and there's a bunch of a bunch of them. But anyway, like, something like that, I probably would do classic fixed camera. Um, if I were to make... I was actually thinking about, like, would it be cool to try and do a, like... Oh, a platformer deconstruction sort of thing, like in a Tomb Raider style, where it's more focused on the method, like, being methodical and stuff. Um, and that would be third person, if I did that, probably, maybe. Um, so yeah, that's all to say, I'm definitely not opposed. It just hasn't really seemed like, uh, necessary for anything I've made yet. Oh, that was a another... Nope. <laughs> the timing on the, the parry. Am I winning? Um, I, I don't know, Dylan. I'd probably say I'm not winning at this moment, right? <laughs> I think these bandits are winning. I think that these bandits that look like horrible zombie mutants are winning. I suppose I look like a horrible zombie mutant, too. Oh, right. Anyway, so, um, Dylan, what... Is your opinion of non from software Souls likes? Like, um, Lords of the Fallen and, uh, Mortal Shell and Lies of P, games like that. Like, I've are there any? Played... Sorry, go I ahead. I have. I've only played Neo, um, outside of. Oh, that's right. That, um, uh, so you haven't played what? any of the. I any of the Lies of. We have Dark Souls at home games not really um i i own lies of p but i have not started it um uh i got kind of scared off of lies of p which is a bit of a shame because people were, were really like oh yeah it's like you know it's like they ramped up the difficulty even oh, no. for, <laughs> for for dark souls you know it's all about the like the dodging and, oh. and the, the, the hard bosses and i was like oh god i'm i <laughs> not I just, prepared i just i just want atmosphere yeah actually like i kind of i i kind of, i'm okay with the games not being just yeah i don't know that so i love elden ring but that is one part that i wasn't as much a fan of is the where it just went super super hard on the crazy boss combos and at you having to memorize all these different attacks and timings and stuff yeah, um, yeah I, I i don't actually come to these games with the difficulty i come for the atmosphere and the level design and the themes yeah <clears throat> um which is why anytime i play a game that's like you know we're like we're like from software games we're super challenging most of the time i bounce off of it yeah uh, it's kind of missing the forest for the trees i i feel um, although I do, like, I think the challenge, uh, the, the sort of difficulty that is in these games is an essential part of them. Yes. Um, not just of the atmosphere and everything, but also of just the fun and the, the humor of it. Um, oh, I rush up 
when I do that bash. Interesting. Yeah, um, I think the way that I sort of think about it is um, the difficulty should be a... Uh, it should be like a symptom of what the game is trying to go for, not a causality. Yeah. Um, in, in the sense that I feel like... and. Mind you, I don't even think From Software gets this right all the time. I think mm -hmm. I do de definitely think sometimes they'll design something purposefully to be just challenging from the onset. But a lot of the time, I feel like you know they they make all the these elements and the game world and the atmosphere and the challenge is there to sort of make you slow down and stop and sort of read the environment and uh, gauge what's going on and take in the world. And I like that element of it um if it was the a lot of games do it the other way around where it's all about the you know the, the boss combos and the challenge and uh oh look look how hard it is and i i kind of don't get a lot out of it because i don't get the thing that i really want from these games which is the the sense of like you know going through hallways and holding my shield up and being like, mm -hmm. oh man, there could be an ambush like just around this corner. Yeah, the sense of like danger and the unknown yeah. in the world. Yeah. Although, and it is also very fun to run into a trap that is there specifically to be dickish. <laughs> be like the, like the turtle yeah. backstab or things like that. Yeah, I like the the thing I really right like is the, ch is the cheeky level design. That's yeah. really what I, what I and I, and, and it's I've liked that from ha like you know the Doom days. Like mm -hmm. it, it's ah, very God. reminiscent of. Ah. Like, oh. <laughs> oh no! It's very, it's very sigil like, very Romero. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of retro games. That sort of, uh, you know, haha. <laughs> that the level design uh, got pull the fast one on you, just like yeah. just like we just saw right now. Yeah. It's it's fun. Like it's 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 funny at your own expense. That's why I actually I think these games are are awesome to stream because like then there's an audience for the ridiculousness that happens. I've heard like some the... people say that streaming Souls games is awful because of the backseat gaming, which I guess I can get, but I just I think having an audience to see these things happen is oh no like that <laughs> oh jeez yeah is oh, is oh, the combo like part of the fun yep oh by the way someone mentioned earlier nightmare of decay yeah that game nice. is phenomenal and hasn't i don't think that has actually gone unnoticed it it did pretty well but definitely if you like classic uh resident evil that's that's a good one that's it's in the pot with like um Lost in Vivo and um, uh, Alyssa and those sort of games where it's like, it's just, it's real good. It's more like where Lost in Vivo is to um, Silent Hill, or I should say Nightmare of Decay is to Resident Evil, Lost in Vivo is to Silent Hill. So definitely play, and it's only five bucks too. It's way underpriced for what it is. Awesome game. Oh yeah, the, um, I haven't played Demon. So, what we know that the chances of Bloodborne actually coming to PC are low. We've talked about that. But what are the chances of Demon Souls remake coming to PC? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if they have plans to bring it to PC. I feel like they should have brought it to PC by now already. But they should. Uh, up there, there we go with that. <laughs> this is a that is an <laughs> evil room. I guess the best way to deal with it... Whoop, that was a life jump. I didn't mean to use that. Uh, I guess the best way to deal with that would be to just roll through there, I guess? Yeah, so here's here's the um, the other thing. Mm -hmm. um, I uh, I haven't played... I have not played the Demon's Souls remake. Um, mm -hmm. I know it messes was, with the art design a lot. Yeah, there, I was a yeah. bit tepid about it um, just because of the amount of kind of atmospheric and world changes that they had made. Yeah. Um, so uh, I don't really have an opinion outside of some of those changes didn't really seem right to me. Yeah. Um, that and I, kind of bugs me also. Uh, but I, I do really love uh, the classic Demon Souls. There, there are so many moments. Again, uh, 
you know, talking about... It doesn't uh, work. Why do I keep doing it? <laughs> um, Sorry, go ahead. Talking about, like, in influences of on my level design, there, even this next area of Gloomwood, I've also pulled a lot of references from Tower of Latria, which is one of my favorite levels in probably any game. Um, and that's from the, the original theme and songs. It is hard to get past these guys' defenses. What's useful against these guys um, is uh, a, a split damage weapon. Like if you, if you oh have, like, something a sword that has like magic. magic. Or, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, someone did say maybe just emulate Demon Souls, which that's not a bad idea. Yes. That I is. Was... That is. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Go. No. 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 You. you well, go I was gonna say I. The only reason I'd be opposed, not opposed to that, but the only, the only reason I'd want a different solution, I guess, would be the online component. But, oh no, on my trap. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. But, but then I also, I would kind of prefer to see the original art and everything. So, I don't know. I agree that I, I, um, I wish that they officially released it and, uh, you know, the, the servers were, were still working and all that. Um, people yeah. still have, like, a, have like their own custom servers, and people still play it. But, it, it, you know, that's, a, that's still another barrier to what it used to have, which is, you know, yeah. you would just boot the game up and it would, it would log online, and you'd be able to, you know, see people's messages and stuff. Yeah. Which, of course, you... Oh, jeez, that was close. Ooh. Um... Of course, you can get, I mean, you get the same thing in these games, like, it's, but, like, you can play these to actually have the, but still, I, that's the intended way to play, and, but, that being said, yeah, probably emulating is a good choice. I can just throw it on my yeah, Steam Deck, then, along with the others. <laughs> yeah, and it, it, it's still, like, entirely, even without the online play, the atmosphere in that game is so good yeah. that it's still totally worth And In fact, honestly, the, the thing that bums, that would, that bums me out the most is just losing player messages. Like, mm -hmm. the, the, there's some really cool, um, there's a boss fight that's PvP in that game that's really funny. Uh, but... Oh, wait, I think I heard a about that yes um, and in fact yeah my first time playing that game uh i did the old monk i think it's called old monk uh boss fight and uh -huh. a player came in and uh he took control of the boss and this player this motherfucker must have been like max maxed uh on every single so demon souls does not have an Estus flask system. It, okay. it uses their grasses, their items. It's oh, okay. kind of like if you if you light if you had the um, life gems, mm -hmm. but you can stack like nine hundred and ninety nine of them. Oh no! And this motherfucker <laughs> had nine hundred ninety nine of every single grass type. Oh no! <laughs> and, infinite amount of healing oh no and so that's amazing we fought for like 20 minutes and he just healed everything just over and over grass like i'd punish it and he just keep he was just eating grass the entire freaking fight oh, running away man. and eating grass and uh it, it was just so it's so fun it was infuriating but it was also extremely funny that is very funny hey look shortcut you said people were complaining that this game isn't as interconnected as Dark Souls 1? Yeah, people do complain about that a little bit. Huh. Is that just the overall world isn't? Because I'm, I've am i gotten a couple different shortcuts here connecting back. Yeah, I, I, I think there's a lot of cool shortcuts in this game. I, I just don't think... like I think pe because it doesn't have like the Firelink Shrine elevator, people right. are like, oh, oh my elevator. <laughs> it does have it does have a different elevator that people remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has an elevator that people maybe don't fondly remember. <laughs> I'm excited to get to that one. Oh, you're right. This, yeah, I just checked. This isn't 100% blocking. Um, I got a halibird, which uh, 
I want to take a look at. Maybe I'll open that other side too. Oh. The loathsome grass eater. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, I can't. Er, yes, I can. I can get over there. How oh, funny. Does it take you to level? Um, I don't remember. No, I can't get over there. I was is, hoping to just sort of sneak around be, here and get a few more. It might be nice to, you know, actually level your ADP. Yes, I agree. Um, oh, okay, that's... Yeah, I was just trying to, like, sneak a few more soul pickups in before I went through there. Oh, is that another guy that I just saw? Or was that... I think that was just an LOD spawning in. Um, I think there were some guys down in here. Well, I'll go check how many I need. I think I have some... Uh, some in my inventory. Some... That's that's soft souls, right? They call that? Which one? The, one? the soul pickups you can break from your inventory. Is that, uh, do they call those soft, or is it just soft humanity and hard humanity? Uh, yeah, there's only soft, uh, there's no soft, uh, effigies in this game, I don't yeah. think. Yeah, there's not. Yeah, but what, are the, uh, what do people call the souls in your inventory? Uh, hard. Those are hard uh, souls? Hard souls, yeah. Or hard, hard, um, uh, humanities. Um, because you can't lose them. Okay, soft so. Soft humanities you can lose. Oh, I had it backwards. Okay. Um, let's... Go back to Majula. Is there a reason that they made it that you have to go back to Majula to level up? Uh, weirdly, Dark Souls One was kind of the exception to that rule. Demon Souls, you had to level at the Maiden Maiden of Black at uh the the place I forget the shrine or whatever um in Dark Souls or Demon Souls, um and they kind of went back to that system with this game mm -hmm. and they. Did it with Bloodborne as well, and they did it with uh, Dark Souls 3 as well. And it wasn't until Elden Ring that we went back to the you can level at any bonfire. Okay, kind so of I thing. have just I have just managed to hit both of the games that use the, that method. Yes, yes. Um, ADP or agility is still not going up, unfortunately. But yeah, I think we're we're still gonna have to keep it. Starting, it started at three, which is just really low. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think it really starts kicking in until like eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Let me look at what souls I. I'm still not used to this inventory. We have proud knight. Oh, how much is? Let me try this one. Yes, the nexus. Thank you. That's what it's called. I think that might be enough. Let me look. So five. Um. <laughs> So, uh, I, I hate telling these stories because it sounds like I'm, like, trying to, like, tell everyone how cool it, how cool I am, but, which is not, I just think it's really funny, um, which is that after the stream, um, was it after, when was that? It must have been after last week's stream, um. Or, or did I post something? Anyway, I, something Dark Souls 2 related. Um, Jack Septic I messaged me and was like, "So, how you like in Dark Souls 2?" <laughs> and I was like, "Ah, uh, I I think it's pretty good so far. I mean, I'm having a good time." And he was like, "Yeah, it has some fans, <laughs> something like that." <laughs> it's like he was, and I learned later apparently he is not a fan of this game. No. Um, it would be so funny if you were like, yeah, it's all right, I like it, and then you try to message him and it just says, <laughs> you're, you're blocked. blocked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, will this be the one? Finally, agility goes up to 86. Okay, is that going to have any noticeable difference? <laughs> uh, let me, I have to pull up, we have to pull up the agility chart in this game, <laughs> which is so cursed. But yeah, I, I think this game is great so far. I am having a great time. I was actually looking at the time and I was like sad um, that it's getting towards stream end. 
86 uh, goes so, from 5 iframes to 8. So that's a... Yes. Okay. A, yeah, you're going from 0 0.1667 seconds of, <laughs> of iframes to 0 0.2667. So a full additional 0 0.1 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. From 5 to 8 frames. Um, no, yeah, he... <laughs> I... I I think his actual response was was more like, uh, like it, it wasn't as much like uh, whatever. I I kind of exaggerated it a bit for the for the sake of the story. But yeah, it, it, he was basically like, yeah, it's it's got some fans. <laughs> um, eighty six yeah. is the bare minimum. Okay. The only thing he likes about Dark Souls Two is uh, Majula, which I think is pretty much everyone's got to like Majula. I think yeah, I think most people like Majula. Yeah, but I'm having a great time with it. I'm I'm sad that uh, thirty minute or like thirty minutes until stream end. I was wondering if I should, at some point here, maybe not this week, but at some, oh, her offer life in short, her offer up. Okay, at some point maybe we should do a supplementary like midweek stream also because it's going to take a long time to get through this if I'm only streaming every week um but maybe well, yeah maybe we'll see I, th I think also you're just sort of this this game I think more than the others because it's the, all the animations are different. There's there's mm -hmm. a larger sort of learning curve. Too. There is, especially since now I've played, like, I don't know how many hours of Dark Souls now. And then there's there's some stuff that it shouldn't be that big a deal that it's different, but it's just different enough that like the uh, um, the stun locking, like how enemies yeah. can do that. That is not how it works in. Except for, like, the Torch Hollows. Like, most yeah. enemies can't stun you lock like that in the first game. So I'm used to being able to take one hit and then immediately get my shield up, and that is not how that works here. Yeah. I, I, as soon as you start getting, you know, better that, weapons, we start upgrading weapons, uh, you, you're getting better armor, uh, and you're starting to, like, learn how the attacks and, and systems of this game works, you start making progress pretty quickly. Yeah, okay, that's it's good. It's just this... For both Eric and I had this experience when we played Dark Souls 2 for the first time. I think a lot of people are, you know, you, you start this game, everything is so different. The animations are different. The stun locking is different. The iframes are different. Yeah. Everyone's immediate reaction is to be like, what the fuck is this? This right. is awful. Um, and then you, you get adjusted to it. I have two halibirds, actually. Cat, you are not allowed on my desk, and you know that. And you are testing my patience, Cat. <laughs> the office cat has arrived. <clears throat> um, so Halliburd. Let's look at this. Um, where do I see it's? Oh, it's scaling is at the bottom there. So this is similar. Oh, the dagger is better dexterity scaling, and technically I am doing a dexterity build, although that hasn't really come into play much. <laughs> Um, speaking of which, how many arrows do I have? I have... Seven. Uh, any arrows? Where? Oh, there they are. I only have seven. Um, while I have some souls, actually, I'm going to go back and get some more arrows. But yeah, I think it has that same... I don't even know how to describe it other than, like, weightiness uh, that souls has, which... Although Elden Ring combat is very similar, I feel like it's not quite the same sort of... There's this... There's this weightiness to everything in... Um, not a, I don't even mean, like, the animations or the timings or that, but, like, the decision-making and the navigation and stuff. There's, like, this sense of... of um, weight and substance to it that I don't really know how to describe... I um I I do think actually it has a lot to do with animations. Um, I Maybe think, so, yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. A lot of the stuff in the later games is much quicker. There's the the rolling has a lot more iframes. It's quicker. The the healing is like really fast in Elden Ring. It's like yeah. almost impossible to punish. Whereas like you look at yourself like healing in this game. And the Estus Flask takes forever to drink, and it doesn't even fill up immediately. Like, you, you heal, like, mm -hmm. 
you know, over a period of time. And so every decision you make, like, when do I heal? When do I attack? When do I back up? Is really important. Yeah. Um, so it is, it is definitely like, it is part of it is animation. Part of it is like the movement and the spacing between enemies and, uh, yeah, well, that's it, a good it just, point. It, it's all it, it is quantifiable stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's it is all these like decisions that make just every sort of like bit of positioning and and uh, motion matter. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna buy some of these iron arrows. So if I get. Oh, it it blocks me off. Yeah, he okay. only has a uh, a certain number to sell. Oh, is that permanent? Yes, he will run oh. out, out of iron arrows. Um, Good to know. Another but he doesn't yeah, run another, out of wood arrows. Correct. Um, okay. Another NPC will sell an endless amount of iron arrows. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, bosses oh, do oh, oh. input read. Even, I think, even normal enemies input read in the first game, don't they? Or am I, um, am I imagining that? I don't know. Um, I think I, I, I do think that what we sort of acknowledge as like input reading is kind of just it's usually it. like it's usually like a collection of different systems that uh, come together to sort of give that impression. Some of it is like what is the player doing, but also some of it is like is the player standing a certain distance away from me and can I use my range attack or you know is, is the player in my face and like mm -hmm. uh, did they just hit me with an attack like you saw those spear guys when you hit them with their shield up they will always do their spear attack immediately right after that yeah <clears throat> and there's no powering through it yeah it was I like I love Elden Ring I think it's a, I, I think it is to, to maybe be a little ridiculous, I would say that Elden Ring is a majestic game. <laughs> a majestic achievement. It's it's great, but I do really like that that, yeah, that, that um, sense that all of, every decision has to be considered, even when it comes to stuff like moving into a new room or attacking a single enemy um, that I feel from like Dark Souls 1 and so far from this also. As you said earlier, Dylan, it's like, diff even though they're very similar, um, it's like different experiences. Yeah, they, they, they very much are. Like, I, I wouldn't really play Elden Ring if, uh, if I really want that, like, tight, claustrophobic, like, yeah. moving through a castle, watching for threats every single... Agreed. Yeah, it's much, uh, it's much more of, like, a broad, expansive game. Yeah, like the it's, cool parts. It's more, Go ahead. Uh, like part of why I do like Elden Ring, and, and when I am in the mood for it, is kind of like just turning my brain off and, and just like running around the world and like, oh, you know, I found a catacomb. I'll just do that. Mm -hmm. uh, or like, you know, I'm I'm just gonna, you know, take on this this encampment of of you know, soldiers or whatever here, or wander in this forest with my horse. Yeah. Very much more of like an open world game. I think I still think it's one of the best versions of that modern open world formula. Um, but yeah, if you think of like the set piece area, like levels and things like that, you remember from Elden Ring, it's like huge ca capital gold, you know, radiating gold capital city with massive like ma just massive tree in it, or like all of these. All of these really grand operatic sort of things. And if you think of, like, the really memorable things from Dark Souls 1, it's, like, Castle or Undeadburg, where it's, which is awesome, but it's, like, it's a castle. It's more like, yeah. you know, or Depths, where you're just, you're trapped in this tight, claustrophobic sewer area. This is going to be a boss, huh, because of these summon signs. Um, um, yeah, Majestic is, a, is actually a good term for Yeah, that. and I don't think They're... one is better than the other, uh, but they are... Even though they're very similar on a superficial level, they are kind of different experiences. Oh, this um, is cool looking. Elden Ring definitely has a lot of really amazing uh, 
Guess what? Oh, it's like spectacle. Yes. Yes, it's I I will stand by using the term operatic ap operatic, yeah, operatic because it's like it is such a yeah, spectacular game in like every way. And then a lot of the stuff that Souls 1 at least did and so far what this is doing is a little more intimate almost, a little more like claustrophobic yeah. and uh well, the last like, giant. The, this the first Dark Souls in this one are very like forlorn. They're, mm -hmm. they're they're very kind of like there's there's almost like a sadness to them. That's uh, almost it's like weird. It's sad, but it's also kind of a comforting sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like solemn. Yeah, I do. Ooh, I do think there is an element of that solemnity to Elden Ring also, but it's yeah, it's less less. Um, yeah, it's melancholic, as Chad is yeah. saying, but maybe less bleak in a way. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's a good point. The story in Dark Souls is, um, I don't find it that very depressing, but it is certainly bleak. Yeah. Um, it's weird how it can be. I don't. It's it how it can be like bleak like that, but not be so a downer. Because I wouldn't I wouldn't call Dark Souls a downer game. It's. But even though the story is basically, uh, every, everyone is, you know, there's no real good person in, or I shouldn't say, there's no person or faction or whatever that's correct in Dark Souls. There's all, they're all different degrees of wrong or right. Ah, oh, wait, I'm trying to find this tweet that I absolutely, uh, Hold on, this one's so good. PS2 vibes. I re yeah, I really like the vibes in this. I'm because I played Elden Ring first. I'm having a lot of trouble not seeing the Elden Ring in this specific area, even though this obviously came first. <laughs> um, man, that was. I'll, I'm gonna pop a life gem for this just to save the Estus charges. I thought about preemptively summoning someone, because I knew that was going to be a boss fight, and I probably should have just done that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, trailer for new From Software game. Ah, uh, fucked up little man. You're so fucked up. <laughs> nasty. Everything. It sucks so bad. Only you, the most fucked up and nasty of guys can make it suck less. <laughs> That's, that is that is genuinely the um this this caters to the male fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's that's the ADP lack thereof getting to me. Oh, that worked. And I do apologize in advance for how long it will probably take me to beat this boss. Um, historically, I'm not the best gamer in the world. <laughs> historically. <laughs> yeah. Well, how many... I should have counted how many ta times it took me to beat... Um, Manus. Well, yeah, Manus for sure. Jeez, but I was thinking um, Margit... In. Oh yeah. yeah. It was crazy. Um, cause I'm just not, I'm not very good at buckling down and seeing like, oh, here's, here's the, the things I can exploit to succeed here. <laughs> um, Mark is a hard boss. Yeah, That's to really be, hard in my boss. defense, I think that everyone who was like, oh, this, this boss isn't that bad, um, was having... What would you call that? Not really rose-tinted glasses. Be like, oh shoot, slightly mistimed. Um, what would that be? Poison-tinted glasses for the first Dark poison. Souls. Poison. Poison-tinted yeah. glasses. The one I always remember is someone who was like, oh, if you think Margaret is bad, you should try playing. You should try facing the um, gaping dragon in Dark Souls. <laughs> like, what? I don't. <laughs> the gaping I dragon think... is so easy. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah, Margaret Mar Mar is oh. uh, Mar is a lot of really 
He has attacks that are both really, that come out really, really quickly and then are delayed a long time. Yeah. So it's like, you have to, you really have to be able to read his attacks to know like it's, when you're supposed to dodge. Yeah, it's straight up memorization, attack. some of them. And I like coming to Elden Ring as someone who played at that point of a little bit of Dark Souls years back was like, that was rough. <laughs> Because it was like coming into a conversation partway through, because there'd been games and games and games worth of people finding ways to be like, oh, this is the this Souls game is so easy now, and then FromSoft being like, well, screw you, we're going to now make him punish this behavior, this yeah, boss. Exactly. <laughs> like, coming in and not having been through any of that was just like, it was tough! It was really, and, um, is that Godfrey, right? Uh, who's the... What's the name? I forget all the names because they're all, like, the same. But, um, the grafted guy. Godric, right? Godric, yes. Godric is a Game of Thrones character. That's... Um, or Godfrey, or whatever. But, yeah. God, um, God, Godfrey is also an Elden Ring character. Oh, okay. They're... All the names are the same. <laughs> yeah, Godfrey is the, the first Elden Lord. Okay, right, 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 yeah. Or if we really want to get into the weeds, it's cute, like human Elden Lord. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I'm ready to get into the weeds <laughs> about that. We're not, we're not ready to get in those weeds. I just sort of untangled Dark Souls One lore. Um, I need, I need a little bit of time before I get into Elden Ring. Yes, El Elden Ring oh, lore is even, is even more fucked up. Yeah. The thing that. Really? That? Oh man, I got a level agility more. <laughs> yeah, that that the, now you're seeing the. Oh uh, man, yeah. The dark the Dark Souls two hitboxes at play. Yeah. Hmm. So where are the invincibility frames? Are they toward the beginning of the dodge or toward? The, I've been assuming they're more toward the middle and end, but um, maybe that's not true. Very uh, start uh, yeah, of the roll. Okay. Wow. Very start of the roll. So I do not um, have many invincibility frames honestly for this boss your best bet is to avoid ever being in front of him all right like, fair stay, enough we're gonna do uh... stay be be the 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 rat ankle biter this yep. fight all right That's um yeah level. so yeah evp is gonna definitely be going up more as soon as i get more souls so um when elden ring came out um most of us at New Blood were obsessed with it, like mm -hmm. Hakita, Dave, me. Yeah, even David. Dave, yeah. who is a worse gamer yeah, even, than I am, by the way. Yeah, even Dave <laughs> loved it. It was his first, mm -hmm. like, the first From Software game he really got into. Oh, I want to say, real quick aside, too, I have a friend um, in real life who is, he's literally a bank manager who lives in a suburb, like, and he plays PlayStation and now xbox because starfield was an xbox exclusive he's like <laughs> very casual sort of gamer guy he loved elden ring he loved awesome. it he'd never played a soulsborne game before so oh, anyway yeah. i just wanted There's, to throw that out while i was thinking about it so continue. i have so many friends who elden ring is their first from software game and they they love it uh, and they hated all the other games and they didn't they didn't think they'd ever try them or enjoy them and they beat like elden ring and it's like oh that's awesome that yeah you know, there is an there is an element of forgiveness to it that isn't present in the other games in that yes. you can for a lot of things just go elsewhere. Yeah, or or what he would do is he would like just cheese it by by getting as many souls as he could and leveling up to yeah, which, over level them, which is completely legitimate. Yeah, you um, can do that in Dark Souls One as well. Yeah, it's just Elden Ring's a little more a little more overt about it because there's so many areas you could go to um, or it's, it's different stuff you can do rather than it being like oh well I guess I can grind all of the enemies on the way to this boss or whatever um, although I, I guess there are other ways to do it in Dark Souls like you could go to a level or go to an area you're under leveled for but yeah anyway yeah so, but you were um, saying everyone, we were all obsessed with it. We were all obsessed with it, and uh, part of why a bunch of us really enjoyed Elden Ring, kind of coming off of other games, like uh, especially like Dark Souls 3, is that it kind of felt, or originally it felt like 
the earlier from software kind of soulsborne games Same. where it felt like going on like an adventure rather than mm -hmm. just being this like you know simon says boss fight kind of shtick like there's there's a lot of elden rings yes. where you're exploring you're going to catacombs you're going you're doing like the stone key dungeons you're you're just sort of going on an adventure and it felt like a bunch of that was reclaimed um when when elden ring came out and it wasn't just like you know boss rush uh the game and i, I the a lot of uh people that i know kind of fell off by the end of elden ring because it sort of it turned into boss rush yeah, the game it, beca it became that again like yeah. in the last like quarter mm -hmm. i agree with that i don't like the last the last part of elden ring um i think they did what they were trying to do really well like the aesthetically and narrative wise and stuff all of those boss encounters are awesome but yeah it really turns into Ugh, a, a chore and then the very final one is like fight two bosses in a row and the last boss is like that game's version of, of chaos <laughs> yeah like a running a fight where you have to run the entire yeah. time well um, maybe not like it's that b game's version of bed of chaos in the sense that it sucks <laughs> yeah uh definitely this time i'm because I've, I've already beaten the game i'm less shy about like oh just fuck it i'll use a summon for this fight yeah not, i don't i don't want to do this fight right now i do that i do that in dark souls one now a bunch it's like i don't care i've i've proved myself i'm gonna summon solaire and another player and just let them wail away at we're just gonna we're just gonna fucking death proof this guy yeah <laughs> death proof. yeah basically <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I want to level up ADP as much as possible, please. What is it at? It's at 8! Alright. So I'm... Is is there any reason I shouldn't just dump everything into ADP right now? Uh, you're, you're gonna want to get your Vigor up as well. Okay. Uh, just for more health. Um, we'll eventually want to focus on your... Uh, you'll inch. probably want to get yeah. You'll probably want to get your endurance up because seven's kind of low. Yeah, everything's low. Wow, I have so much to spend on this. I'll put decks up a little bit. Um. Okay, yeah, because this is uh, this is a or no, I was going for quality, wasn't I? I was going for qu a quality build in this, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I should probably get I, strength I, caught up. I would probably um. I would probably go decks until like 20 before trying to split the two oh yeah stats yeah i'd really? probably focus on one a little bit and then get the other one up okay so i'll put a bit more into that um vigor uh that's health and endurance is stamina right so put those two up also and that's quite a bit of leveling um does that all seem good or like i, I i'd maybe I'd take maybe one out of like endurance for now and put it into ADP. Okay. Just like ADP I did put two into like, ADP, but yeah, I oh. I would say I would still say ADP is still kind of the yeah. Oh, this step agility doesn't go up. That's okay. We'll get it next time. I'm gonna regret what so much. It's a straight up mistake to level anything but ADP. Eh, it's fine. The worst that'll happen is I'll get stuck at a part and I may have to like grind for souls off stream or something like that. And to to catch up ADP. It'll it'll be fine. I think, probably. Because it only gives one more frame. Yeah, and I also I like using shield. It'll be fine. It's it's we're great. We're good. I'll just level it next time. <laughs> oh, you've never leveled ADP in Dark Souls 2? Do you just... I mean, if you're, if you're not, like, a rolling... If you're not a very rolling player... Uh... I can see... I can see why leveling it up it wouldn't be that huge yeah. of a deal. As... If this is following the same logic as... Well, not logic, but if, the, if this is following the same path as the first game... Um... I'm not really afraid of... Do, of doing a build sort of improperly because that just it just means I'll have to make up for it at, 
in some other area, like maybe I'll have to go grind for souls for a little bit, or I'll have to get better at dodging or use shields more or something like that, which is I'm fine with. Um, but I am going to keep dumping into ADP as much as I can. I just... Yeah, I, yeah. I think you'll be fine. Oh, the and next, I can respec. Like, That's true. Yeah, yeah, and the next areas start giving you even more souls. Like, okay. I'm, we'll, hit, sure. we'll hit an area and you'll just... It will just get dumped on by souls. Yeah. Uh, and it'll be like, oh, leveling super easy. Um, we are just about at the end of the stream. Uh, I wanted to go... Where was that? Um, I'm trying to remember where all the locked doors were. I think that was at the castle. Yes, it was at the castle. I wanted to try those doors with the key I got to see if that's what it does. I guess I could read the description. Or just start putting in the doors. Yeah. Soldiers. Open soldier's door in Forest of Giants. So it's only one door. Um, likely not this one. Oh, no, it is. Okay. So I'm going to assume there's... One. Oh! No! No! The wall! Ah! Okay. <laughs> gonna, ooh, hand axe. I'm not gonna use that. It. Why is it so fun to, like, collect things, like, new items, even if you're not gonna use them? It's like, oh, yay, I got a new thing. I'm never gonna use a hand axe. Why would I use Com it? You know what I mean? Completionist brain. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Or, like, not even completionist brain. I think it's just, like, a human brain thing. Like, oh, I like collecting things. Yeah. I like stuff. Number of Hoarding. things go up. Maybe uh, one day I might need this. Never uses it. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go look at that room with my torch. And that's gonna be it for this stream. Um. Ah, there's a door over here. There is a chest. Still waiting for a mimic to show up. Repair powder. Nice. Um, just looking to see if there was a torch I could light in here. Um, that's sinister looking. We will save that for next time. <laughs> that's what I think. <laughs> Um, so I'll go back to the fire, and that's going to be it for the stream. It's a bit early, uh, but I want to go make sure I'm on time for picking up Lavender, because last few streams I have not been on time. Save the um, child. Yeah. What is in the screen options here? Oh, I can have hide automatically for the HUD. Eh, I'm fine with it being on. Okay. Anyway, that's the stream. I might there might be some point like i said where we decide to do like a midweek stream for catch up i might like because i might want to do that just to play more of the game honestly uh but we'll see that also depends of course on dylan your availability because i know this is kind of early for you um yeah. so yeah we'll see how all that goes uh other than that it'll be same time same day next week and I'll probably have forgotten everything, unfortunately, and I'll have to relearn it all. And I, But I did make progress. I beat one boss. So we did what I wanted to do. Um, yay! Yay! All right, so uh, thank you, every, everyone, for coming, and I will see you next week. Bye! Goodbye!